watch the water. We've all been told that. Watch the water. And what does it mean? Watch the water. 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 We were told, watch the water. And when the boat parade started to happen, the magnificence, the splendor, the sheer numbers of the people that were involved, most of us thought for sure this must be what watch the water really means. <laughs> Even this guy had a parade. Hi there, Neil Sperling here, the Twisted Light Worker. Bear with me, I'm just learning this new software. I've spent like close to eight hours putting the ideas to, together to do this video and it's the first time that I've used this video so if I make a few mistakes, bear with me. I'm just a beginner. I just recently been taken down from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Minds. I had over 30,000 or approximately 30,000 contacts and all kinds over and above that in forums that I was very active in. So I've lost a lot of my work and so I'm starting all over with a new focus, a little bit of a, a different change. Right now, I'm looking for things that we can do, things that we can do that's outside the scope of seeking and searching for the truth and sharing it. There's now time for us uh, light workers and patriots and concerned civilist citizens and digital warriors to all take a different focus. My twisted light worker side of me comes from a past of all kinds of religious and spiritual and metaphysical and studies. I've been down all kinds of them from every church going. I've been a part of them. I studied meditation since 1980, tall tech since about 82, 83. Uh, delved into quantum physics a bit and into metaphysics and mysticism. So I've had a big journey and in 2000 I started really running down the rabbit holes looking for the truth in conspiracy theory and I found at that time there were not very many people who were on the awakening spiritual path uh, who, like me, even have uh, shaman attributes. Most of them don't want to do anything, uh, have anything at all to do with politics. And I've just been sucked into this, looking for the truth and realizing what my role really is. And, and it's all coming together now. So, done an awful lot of thinking in this last year. What was meant by watch the water watch the water I think I have the uh, solution to that and I may be wrong this is one man's opinion but I really believe that it all stems around the way law is set up what does LAW stand for land air and water let me show you Well, we're getting there. One more step. There we are. That'll do. In the beginning, God, creative source or great spirit, whatever you want to name it, created the heavens and the earth. Then he created man and woman. As men and women united, with others in the form of communities, they came to realize that they had to have some basic guidelines of existence, 
rules were established so that they could live together in harmony. These rules were clear and easy to follow. In short, they would not trespass against each other. These rules are all based on common sense, like the Ten Commandments. All common sense. That has become known as common law. So common law is just one step below God's laws. That is where men and women stand on the land under God's laws. That's the law of the land. We are very close to creative source. There's nothing between a man and a woman. There's nothing between a man and a woman and their creator. There's nothing in between. As communities became larger, the need for further government was dreamed into existence. Human rights needed to be protected, so the Charter of Human Rights, the Constitution, and various other forms of documents were drafted, named differently by various countries, each for the purpose of protecting individual men and women. And that is Admiralty Law, Law of the Water. Law of the Air, as I'm just a beginner in all of this, I believe this has to do with ecclesiastical law, which is all roads lead to Rome. And law of the air fits into that. And if it was done with compassion and done with connection to source and God and protection of men and women, then this law would be in line with common law, but it isn't. We all know that it isn't. But here's the interesting thing. Here's the water, the law of water, admiralty law. When men and women learn how to apply common law and do it properly, follow the procedures of common law so that we can establish a public court, our court, because we are connected directly to source, our court. There's nothing between us and creative and our creator. We have all the power. So when we establish public courts through common law, then guess what? Even those members who are in the Supreme Court they have to bow down to us. That's right. That's right. All civil laws follow the rules of civil procedure. <coughs> so how did this all come to be that it all became so corrupt? Well, the greatest sin of all man happened right here at the birth certificate. When our parents signed our birth certificate, unbeknownst to them, they were giving our rights away as a free man and a free woman. And what was created was a person by the same name as your given birth man or woman name. If you notice that all documents coming from the government and public things such as driver's license and health cards and uh, insurance and bank accounts and loans and mortgages, all of them, the names are in capital letters. Guess what? That's not you. That's the person, that's the entity that they made up. You are, therefore, owned by the service corporation, better known as the government. <laughs> and all leads, all the roads lead back to Rome through the ecclesiastical. 
So, there's our greatest trespass upon men and women, your birth certificate. In short, unknowingly, your parents signed your God-given rights away, and by admiralty law, law, water, a person was created. A person is similar to a franchise. That's a good way of looking at it, similar to a franchise. And that is owned by the service corporation. It's not even a privately owned <laughs> franchise. The service corporation owns it, which is the government. Person, civilian, public, all words that signify exactly what I'm just saying. Your name is always in capital letters on all those bills and on your driver's license and all of those things. You'll see it. And that is what separates you from your God-given rights as a man or woman. That trespass was done right here between the law of the land and the law of the air. However, when you claim your rights as a free man or a free woman under God and do it the right way, follow the procedures, you are standing once again on the land fully in your power with your own God-given rights. So I believe, without a shadow of a doubt, from my perspective, watch the water means watch what's happening with Admiralty Law. Take control back into the hands of the people through common law and let's get on with it. Let's clean this mess up. Oh boy, this is, where is that? There we are, finally. Doesn't click on it right away. That doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, I'll figure this program out sometime in the next three or four videos that I do. If you follow me, I'll have it a little bit more smooth and get it right, have fun with it. Hopefully even be able to do some um, video streaming through either YouTube or, or Jitsi. Jitsi. J-I-T-S-I. -I. So do some homework on common law. My suggestion would be to follow um, three different people that I can think of right off the top. One is a fellow by the name of Christopher James. You'll find him on the website at Warrior Calls. Then if you do a YouTube search for Carl Lentz, and also Anna Von Wright. Those three people are filled with wealth of knowledge on common law. And right now, Christopher James is has eyes on him from all over the world because he's working through the procedures of proving that the rules of civil procedure do not apply to a man or woman, and when that is totally put out, got out of the, out of the way, that's when all kinds of indictments are going to happen. And guess what? Here's the coolest thing. We the people, taking back our powers through common law, we're the ones that can put those indictments into action. We are the ones. So we are the ones we've been waiting for. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you uh, learned a little bit from this and want to support me, uh, buy me a coffee. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you the link in, in the description below. And the four videos that I put together that got me knocked off of Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Mines. I lost over 30,000 contacts, and that's not very many compared to what other people have. Some people have lost close to a million or 600,000, and yet it hurts. I'm starting all over, brand new, and uh, it's a fun journey because I've done it once, and now I know I can do it. I can do it again, but at the same time, it's a, it's a challenge, and I, I really have my heart open for those who are before me who have lost 600,000 or 300,000 followers and having their channels taken down.
I know what it feels like personally. So buy me a coffee um, and uh, look forward to talking to you again. Neil Sperling, The Twisted Light Worker.